Hello and welcome back to the Dev Spoke vlog. Sorry about the content lately, haven't been getting videos in as often as before. Mainly just because like this this whole week I've been focusing on getting my assessment done, um, stuff like that. But yeah, and then Friday I wasn't feeling so well. Uh, no, well, not as good as today, for example. Like, I'm not even sure if I should be riding today, but I got four hours on the bike. And Friday, I just, just took the complete day off. I spent the whole day literally just sitting down on the couch. And that that really helped me. Like, I had soreness at the back of my nose and my throat. That's pretty much all got. Like, I had a runny nose and complete body ache. But that's all pretty much gone. Yeah, so my grandparents are here from Sydney. They've come come down for the weekend, spent some time with my parents and my brother and I. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's really great they've come down. So today probably just, it's about eight o'clock. So yeah, just gonna get this ride in and then probably do a little bit of sightseeing. Not much to do outside because of this pretty tears weather. Yeah, I can feel there's little droplets of rain coming down. If it starts to pour, I'll probably start riding home, but I still got, what, three hours and 13 minutes left on the bike, so, yeah. If you wanna go, I know I made you cry last year when I was on the road. I meant it when I said it, you could always hit my phone. Two one three two six seven nine nine three two, girl, you know I'ma make this steady. I never will forget you. Look me in my eyes, tell me you ain't a part of me now. So it started raining up north in um, Gungala and I've actually headed back down in the city or well, Braddon area and yeah it was kind of like a misty shower that I got up there yeah so I got the rain jacket on no good here it's just a bit cloudy and you know, not the nicest weather to ride in but you know it's still significantly warm for how cloudy it is just gonna head into Braddon for a quick coffee and yeah, we'll see how that goes. The sun is finally shining. Hopefully it just warms up from now. I mean, the rain's supposed to come again at 12. Good for the moment. Talking about Canberra is the fact that you can drive or even ride like 10 kilometers away from your house and you're you could be in the middle of nowhere. That's literally how crazy it is. So hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the Santini race jersey. Um, so I was sent this a few days ago uh, from Santini and I've ridden it a few times. And yeah, I really like it. Oh, I think it's a great, I love the, the stripes under the arms. It's a really, really comfortable, breathable jersey and it it's really great at cooling you down. That's what I've found um, is the most noticeable thing about it. These arm bands, uh, just at the hem of the jersey arm, they're a bit, uh, I don't really like them because they, they roll up 
really easily. They don't stick onto your arm like some other jerseys, like um, like for example my. Uh, let me just get it. My Rogers kit. It has a bit of a like a sticky kind of these little dots of silicon that really they stick to your arm and that's yeah that it just makes a bit of a difference feels good yeah so you got the traditional three jersey pockets at the back um there's no zipper on there but you've got the famous sms santini logo so if you're looking something for something italian something that feels great just an everyday item uh, everyday clothing piece to use on a training ride. I reckon this is it. It's just it's so comfortable so breathable and If you're looking for something Italian oh, Really shows it. It's got Italian flag colors there. And you've also got the um, Made in Italy tag there so Yeah, it says handmade in Italy since 1965. But yeah, I, I really like it zip Full length zipper. Shall I try it on? Yeah, so I mean the the small is a little bit loose. Like this is their small, it's a bit loose. Um but I I think that yeah, it just it makes it really really comfortable. These armbands, yeah, see they they're tight, but when you do something like put your arm up, for example, it rolls on nearly all the way up. So yeah, nice mesh kind of from the side, and you do you do have silicon strips at the bottom. Yeah, so that's all good. So, so you guys can you can comment down below what uh, you thought of the SMS Santini jersey. Um, I think it's probably one of the most readily available jerseys to be honest because I have seen uh, this one at Rebel before, um, but I think it's more commonly found in the women's design and the women's design because I did a bit of research on this. The women's one has a stripe kind of all the way, all the way over the sleeve. This one's kind of just got it underneath. Well, that's it for the, the review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Put put down in the comments section below what you thought of this review and also my new intro. Yeah. Like the most pressing concern. You don't think this would be a good moment? Change your status to stuck in a freaking video game. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a